Hello, welcome to Beloit College Ghost Adventures. In today's episode, we are going to be experiencing the peat catacombs here at Beloit College. If you don't know what the peat catacombs are, you're gonna find out, and so are we. But not really, because the peat catacombs are closed. So these are actually the Blaisdell and Bushnell catacombs. Welcome. Lindsay, can you tell me what your theory for the hauntings down here, you know, what you think is going on? As far as I'm concerned, I know there's been a lot of talk about knocks down here, suspicious flashing lights, um, and all of that points to what I believe is the peak catacombs poltergeist. Um, oh, wow. Yeah. Do you think he has a name? Um, yes, his name is Petey Boy. Did you hear that? Did you hear that? Was that a ghost fart? I think, I think that was a, a very rare ghost fart. Oh my god. Oh my god. Are you scared? Are you scared? No. I'm not scared. <laughs> okay, okay. Do you have any theories, Cam? I do, actually. And, and I mean, I have a few, but I think for, for the peak, peak catacombs here, um, I think that, do you know how many people have lived in these buildings? There's gotta be at least like two ghosts in here, like just like having a good time. Like they've got it, like these are like long hallways. I bet they're just like running up and down them. Mm -hmm. um, and I think it's probably Rebecca and Julie. I think that I feel that's the kind of sense that I'm getting right now. I'm feeling a Rebecca and a Julie with us. Um, and I can just like imagine them, you know, running up and down these hallways. Um, so I think that what we're gonna do is we're gonna go searching and we're gonna see if um, either Rebecca or Julie or um, what was your guy's name again? Uh, Petey Boy. Petey Boy. Maybe Petey Boy's around. Maybe um, Petey. Petey. So Petey. I. Yep, I think he's, he might be around. So I think right now what we're gonna do is we're gonna start exploring. Um, it's pretty dark down here, so we're gonna turn our infrared on um, just to make sure we can see as much as we can. Um, and I think it's time to start ghost hunting. <sighs> All right, so we're gonna start our investigation and seeing if we can make contact with Petey Boy. Come on, follow me. What does that say? Can't stop the art? Do you think that means something? Do you think the ghost wrote that? I think Petey Boy likes art. Well, good thing this isn't arts college. Yeah, that's why I think. <laughs> no, you're right. Wow. Oh my god. Do you see that? Do I? Look, look. Oh. Look, 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 look. I'm, I'm looking, I'm looking, I'm looking. Those, those are poltergeist scratches. He was here. He was here. We gotta go. We gotta go. We gotta Come go. On. We gotta go. Come on, we gotta go fast. I'm coming, I'm coming. It's okay, it's okay. <laughs> Why do all the walls? Same. I don't know. I'm getting confused. How are you feeling? I'm feeling his presence. That's the door. This is the door? That's the door. What door? The one to Petey Boy. Rick. All right. If Petey Boy is here with me, Give me a knock. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my, oh my god. god. Oh my god. Did, Did you, you hear, hear that? that? Did you hear that? I heard it. I Did heard it. Did you hear it? I heard it. Uh, um Oh my god. Do you think do you think that was Petey Boy? I think it might have been. Oh my god. What do you think he wants? Where do you think it came from? I think it came from from that door. 
chills. I literally, have, my hair is standing up no, right now. I, my hair I is standing up. You have goosebumps all over. Everyone, look at the goosebumps. All over. I have so many goosebumps right now. Oh gosh. So, so many. Okay, it's okay. Let's okay, keep, let's okay. Keep looking. Let's keep looking. Okay. Let's... How do you think we can make contact with him? I think if we provoke him. Okay. Okay. He'll come out. Which? How should we provoke him? Do you think? Probably real mold. Let's be real here. After a short fate break, we've decided to come back and finish our adventure stone here in the catacombs. Um, it was a little bit scary. Um, I was feeling a little bit nauseous. Um, I don't know about you, but I was I was I was feeling something something with us. I was I was really feeling something with us. I was. I think he is here. I think he is. Um, I, and, and obviously they don't want us in there. So I mean, they're hiding something. They're hiding something. They're hiding something. Yeah. They want us to see him. And I think he's mad. I think he's mad about that. Um, so I think now we're gonna we're gonna venture this way a little bit. Okay. Um, and we're gonna see if I can if I can find um, my other two friends, my other two ghosts over here. Um, as you can see, we have some ghostly activity. Um, you know, we're not that fancy. We don't we don't have any of those fun, um, you know, mechanics, any of the fun things that tell us if a ghost is with us. Um, but if you wanted to Venmo us, we might be able to someday. Yes. So I'll put my Venmo on the screen. I don't think I can. I probably won't do that. But let's pretend. <laughs> um, so pay us, and we can actually have what we need, the technology we need to decipher what's going on in this campus. Okay, so I think we're gonna walk this way now. Uh, if you take a look around, it's not very cute down here, and it's really loud because of this fan. Let me go turn this fan off really quick. What do you think that means? I think 
think Rebecca's ready to go to war. <gasps> I think she's mad. I, I'm feeling an angry presence. I feel like oh my gosh, she's upset. The camera is blurring. I think Rebecca. Rebecca, can you can you can you push me down if you're here right now? Just like give me a little push. Rebecca, just give me a little shove. Just like push me down a little. Come on. And I feel like she's she. I feel like she wants to. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. I feel like she really wants to, but I feel like she's not doing it. So I don't know what I can. I feel like we need to give her more of like an incentive. Like I feel like she needs to know that we're here for her. You know? Yeah. Like, Rebecca, we're here for you. We want to help. I want to be your friend, okay? Rebecca, please let me be your friend, okay? Oh, <gasps> oh my God. Oh my God. <gasps> I'm freaking out right now. I'm freaking out right now. What was that? How did it, did it? She just pushed me. I didn't, she just pushed me. You didn't, you didn't do that. I did not do that. She literally just. There wasn't like anything to trip on? She want to be our friend. Blue room. <gasps> what do you think that means? I think, I think it means that that's the sad room for all the sad boys. Do you think all the sad ghosts are in here? I think so. Is anyone in there? Did you hear that? Wait. I swear I just heard someone say the word mom. <gasps> Wait. I have a mom. I do too. Do you think they're trying to connect? Yeah. How would they know that though? How would they know that we had a mom? That's really weird. I'm a little bit, let's keep going that way I think now. I think we need to move this way a little bit. There, I, there's an arrow on the ground pointing that way, which makes me think we need to come this way. Yeah, yeah. I don't... Do you think it's a warning? I think it might be a warning. They're... Did you hear that? It was like a bang. I definitely heard that. Sh should we go over there? I think we should. Okay. <laughs> Seems it was just a student because this is a dorm building. <laughs> so that would okay, make sense. Okay, okay. That one was debunked. That one debunked. The rest, not debunked. The rest was really very re cold. Oh. And then it is a little cold down here. Can't stop, won't stop. Did you notice? Did you notice that when I got pushed? The temperature in the room went down. Dropped. It like dropped. Literally, like, like, down. Immediately. So fast. Like I still have goosebumps from it. No, I had so many goose snips after that. Like I, I don't. I don't know. Something's like not adding up down here though because I'm getting a really, really like. Yeah, like, kind I'm of feeling kind of sick in here. Um, and I'm not really liking that. Yeah, my stomach is turning. Me too. Oh, okay, God. let's go. Oh. What do you does think this mean? Out with Pritzker. Okay. Do you think one of the, the ghosts camera that? is having a really hard time focusing on oh. it? Oh. I think this was written by a ghost. I think you're right. I think it had to have been. I mean. I mean, I don't. I, I think that there's only really one explanation for that. Yeah. Um. I think that. He's, he's saying that he's if he's gonna kill him. I think he's saying that he has murderous intent. <gasps> I think he means business, and Pritzker better not ever come here, because obviously he's wanting to kill him. Okay. Also, Natty D. <gasps> Do you think that's another ghost? Do you think Pritzker is another ghost? <gasps> Do you think 
Natty D hates Prisker? Do you think Natty D killed Prisker? I think it's Pritzker, first of all. But maybe. I think we're uncovering some truths down here. If only we could find out what was behind that door. I agree. Then everything would be solved. I know. I feel like, I think Petey Boy is the ringleader in all this. No, I think you're right. I think he has to be. Um, and, and he obviously doesn't want us want us in his space. Yeah. Um, Do you think he forced Rebecca to push you down earlier? I think he did, because she took a while to do it. Yeah, she was hesitant. I think she was convinced, and she did it hard too. So like, I don't. I mean, it, maybe it was Petey Boy. Maybe. Maybe. Petey Boy did it. Do you think he like pushed Rebecca out of the way? Maybe he did. To get to you. Do, do you think Petey he, Boy's after me now? Yeah, because I think, I think Petey Boy is the only one who can have friends. None of the others are allowed friends. Well, I think that's that's all the time we have today on Beloit Ghost Adventures. Um, thank you for joining us today. Um, we've had we've had a lot of a lot of questions answered, but a whole lot more were asked that we might not ever know the answer to. Yeah. Maybe next episode we can we can find some more about about this hall. There's a bunch of other halls on campus that are supposedly also haunted. Um, so we're going to be visiting a couple of those. So I think you're going to want to tune in next time to Beloit Ghost Adventures with Cam. Lindsay! Thank you very much. <laughs>